Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all well. Today I've got a vlog. I wanted to jump in at the beginning with a proper introduction because basically, I think it was about two weeks ago now, I went to two different events. So I got footage when I was at the events. I went to a GHD event, which was a Christmas event. And so my first Christmas thing for this year, um, it was really nice. I'm gonna put that footage in now. Oh, hey. On my way now to the GHD event um, at Foley in Soho and um, yeah I'm really excited because I've, I've only been to one event recently and I feel like you know more are sort of starting to pick up at the moment I think like with it everything with us coming closer to Christmas and everything and yeah it should be good I'm also really excited to see some oh one of my nails come off just let's not look at that but yeah I'm excited to see some other girls as well like that I haven't seen for ages um so yeah i'm just like wrapped up i can't really show you my outfit properly at the moment but i've got this black do you know what no maybe let me try and show you later when i can probably show you but i'll see you guys when i'm um, in town okay does anyone remember when i mentioned wanting to get this perfume it's this brand i don't think it's one of these though but ah! the event now literally just round here So I had such a good time. And then I went to an All Saints event. I'm now on my way to an All Saints dinner. The last um, trip we had was so nice. And yeah, just again, will be really nice to see everyone. So I just wanted to say as well, if anyone hasn't been to Cold Drop Shard before, oh, why am I so out of breath, please? <laughs> it's because I'm wearing heels and I'm not used to it. Um, yeah, you have to come here. It's just so nice. Such a nice, like, new, newish, like, area that they've built. There's so much, so many cute little shops and... Again, I had such a good time at the All Saints event as well. It was so nice to see everyone, like, at both, both of the events that week. I'm so excited as well about the um, All Saints candles. Also, I think they're really decent prices as well for like how, oh my God, the packaging is so nice. Like the little concrete pots that the candles come in. And um, also it would be a really nice Christmas gift idea as well, I think. Um, but yeah, I, I've loved their fragrance. Fragr <laughs> Fragrances are gorgeous. That was just like a busy week, but a really good week. It's really nice to sort of like be out and about again you know it's feeling kind of normal also i love this time of year as well it's like my favorite time of year i love it but the main focus of this vlog is that i took myself on a date day the other day i hadn't done it for ages i did one um a while ago i vlogged it yeah if you want to see that one you can go watch that one as well that was a bit that was more so around the soho area uh, this time I went to um, Shoreditch area. Things have been open again for a little while, so I don't know why I hadn't taken myself out on a little date day to myself for a while. And um, it's one of those things where, like, if you do have a bit of time to do it for yourself, then it's really, really nice, like, so worth it. Um, anyways, let me put the footage in. <laughs> then I'm gonna jump back in after because um, there's, I wanna show you guys what I got on that day as well. There's only a few bits, but it was just nice to, I, oh, I hadn't treated myself for ages. Um, and I really don't as much these days. Um, sometimes obviously buy things online from my ASOS or something, but anyways, I'm babbling, but yeah, I think that's another lockdown thing where I just got, it's good because obviously it's like saves money. Um, I wasn't needing to get so many things all the time. When I am out now, I really think a lot more about the purchases that I'm making. And um, it's nice because it really does feel a lot more like a treat, you know, than being kind of frivolous. Anyways, <laughs> I am, I'm rambling, but um, 
Uh, here is my date day in Shoreditch. Um, I'm gonna go and see the Van Gogh exhibition, which I've been wanting to see for ages. And it's just one of those things where you're like, you know, what's the point waiting around for like someone else to suggest it or... There were so many things over the summer that I wanted to go and see and then it, I just missed it. So I've learned, just take yourself, just take yourself. <laughs> so, oh, my arm's getting tired. So about to hop on the train. Yeah, my hair's a bit of a mess. I need to sort it out. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna hop on the train. Um, I'm gonna grab some lunch as well. Um, I think I might go Spitalfields Market because the um, exhibition is on near there. Just gonna, you know, just have a little wonder. Oh, let me show you my outfit. Just got this like beige top on. My own jewellery, of course. This is the Tommy Locket, Copenhagen chain. Uh, just, yeah, my big, um, my big brown coat because it's just super, like, comfy. And then these wide leg uh, pleather trousers, which I literally live in. And then this bag is from All Saints. I'm going in. soup dumplings for ages and um there we go i got the pork ones uh, but i have burnt my tongue <laughs> i bit into one of them and it just like spurted out everywhere which is exactly what i thought was gonna happen but it was fine i just like pretended it didn't happen you know then now i've got mulled wine i'm so happy <laughs> so i realized i've spilled uh mulled wine down my top so that's great I hope you guys like that footage. Um, I loved it. I It really reminded me of like the type of content that I love to film and love to make and the sort of thing that I love um, inspiring other people to do as well. Um, Cause I posted, I posted um, like a reel from the day as well on my Instagram and then some girls were like, oh, you've inspired me to go and, you know, do a date day. And I'm like, yes, cause it's just, it, oh, it really, like when I, came out of the Van Gogh um, exhibit, I felt it really like, um, was quite like heartwarming in that, just to do something like that for myself. It's sort of like a weird feeling to explain. Um, but I just felt it like made my soul happy. And just doing like exactly what you wanna do and not like rushing it and you know, just being really, uh kind of like cognizant of everything that you're doing and i went into the shop called i think it's oost um it's a danish shop i got talking to the um the girl that was in there the girl that served me in there and uh she was saying how it's like family owned and uh there's because i asked if there's any other of the stores in london she said no it's the only one and um there's only one other one in uh copenhagen how funny, because like, obviously I obviously love Copenhagen and I, like I zoned into that shop, <laughs> so naturally. And then, um, yeah, like it seemed like that sort of style of thing. And then when she was like, oh yeah, it's Danish. And I was like, of course. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, like she was telling me about the brand and that um, the pieces are made in Italy, which is like, which is amazing. Amazing for the prices. Honestly, like, the prices are so reasonable for the quality and like the um designs and everything if any if you guys know like where the all saints is in in um opposite spitalfields market it's literally like a few doors down from there yeah so i was like browsing around for a while um and i just picked up um i just picked up two bits that caught my eye and i also went into a little lingerie store called love stories which one of my friends had um, talked about before. I've been wanting to go in there for ages. And then again, like I was chatting to the women in there for a bit and 
it was just nice. You know, just one of those days where, like, everywhere is a good vibe. I tried on some bits, chose something out. I'm gonna go and grab the bits and show you. Love stories. How cute is this? Like, I just love the branding, like the packaging. So, oh, the colour of these, the colour, oh, the colour palette in there was amazing as well. Everything was like black, nude, pink, like burnt orange. Oh, oh. <laughs> I got this bralette, bra slash bralette. My main concern was because a lot of the things in there are like lacy, very lacy things, a lot of triangle bras. And I have, my boobs are double D, but like, I just, they're, I don't know, like they're not, they're not dainty boobs, you know what I mean? <laughs> like most triangle bras, like it's game over, like an hour of wearing them. And I feel like a lot of triangle bras don't give a lot of support. Anyway, so when I went in, I was like, oh, everything's really nice, but like, <laughs> I, I have big boobs. And she was like, um, she recommended some of the, some of the stars that, um, might be better for me. This was one of them. And it does feel good. I will say, I don't think that, like I'd feel a bit of a strain by the end of a long day of wearing it. Um, but it does, it does fit really nicely. But look at this color. Oh, it's so pretty. And then got the matching bottoms. There were a few different options, but I went with these because, excuse me, look at these. Oh, they look so good on as well. That's what I got myself from Love Stories. Love the name of the brand as well. I don't know, just such a nice brand. Um, and then in Oost, I, the first thing is just a t-shirt, but I just love the color of it. So it's just a nice basic to have. Um, oh no, it was creased. But yeah, so it's just this like oversized khaki sort of a uh, plain tee. But, and this is um, nine pounds. And then I got, oh my God, I love these, these pajama bottoms. So they're this like kind of silk or satiny green polka dot. They were just so cute. Uh, these were 25 pounds, one size. A lot of the things in there are one size, which I really like. Yeah, I, just, I feel like I found some really cute bits. Like, so that's what I picked up on that day. That's pretty much everything like from the last week or so, um, apart from like other bits and bobs I've been doing that, you know, it's not that exciting. <laughs> um, just like me filming work, jobs, things like that. Um, I'm posting a lot more on my Instagram at the moment, like a lot more reels and things like that. I'm trying to do a few more like day in my life things in real form. So um, go check out my Instagram if you haven't. I'm always on TikTok as well. <laughs> TikTok is like, oh, it's just so, it's my place to go and like have fun. I love it so much. <laughs> I feel like my Instagram content and my TikTok content is just like, <laughs> like completely different. Um, oh, also before I go, my jewellery line, SMJ, Summer Maria Jewellery. We're having a 20% off sale all month. It's like a slow November sale. It's called Nomadic, Nomadic November. So if there's any pieces that you've had your eye on, you know, for a while, you've been waiting for a sale or something like that, like head over. Also, it's a really good time to get orders in for Christmas because, you know, everything is made to order. And so it takes a little bit longer than when things are like mass produced, literally made for you. <laughs> like it's not, it's not like bulk made. How is it like middle of November? I, everything is going so quickly. So as in like, I feel like I need to start my Christmas shopping. If you're like me and it's like, you may like say if you've wanted a piece of the jewelry or you've wanted to get it for someone, now's a good time because the sale's on and then it will also arrive well in time for Christmas and everything. I've got my chain here, let me put this on. This is the Katina Ibiza chain. I'm gonna go, oh my God, 26 minutes. <laughs> Hello. I hope you guys are all having a really good day. I'm gonna go and get my nails done a little bit. I'm excited, I think I'm gonna go red. I haven't had red for ages. Um, and yeah, anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.